Italy and Tuscany in particular is such an iconic destination that it's hard to get away from the stereotypes. I think we're all far too familiar with the biscuit box scenes of vine-covered hillsides and meandering rivers with medieval towers and cypress trees on the horizon. But one of the best ways of getting under the skin of this region is to look beyond the scenery and sort of get a feel for what's changing and why. Now one significant transformation or progression in Tuscany over recent decades has been its wine scene. Now, once there used to be oceans of straw-covered fiascos filled with Chianti that was insipid in both flavour and colour. These days, you're much more likely to find a growing range of world-class wines, the best often labelled not just as Chianti, but Chianti Classico, or Reserva, or Colisanese, or Rufino, or sometimes just even Toscana. So the mainstay of the region is the Sangiovese grape variety. The name means blood of Jove. Now, in true Italian tradition, Sangiovese can be quite temperamental, but the producers these days are definitely getting the best out of it. And that is the result of a lot of investment and hard work, and often blending the Sangiovese variety with other international grapes. So the most successful wines these days are food-friendly reds with real character and style, a bit like the locals. There are also a lot of lovely white wines produced in Tuscany. Italy's not short on history, but neither is it renowned for following rules. So it might come as a bit of a surprise to learn that Chianti, perhaps Tuscany's most famous wine, its region was the first, one of the first, to be officially delimited, and that happened in 17. 16. Now since then there have been ups and downs, I think it's fair to say, and even these days quality and style can still vary quite a lot. So it's good to choose your wine with care. Maybe don't be afraid of getting a local recommendation. And one wine you must try before you leave Tuscany is the region's famous dessert wine, Vinsanto. It's made from dried grapes and then barrel aged until it turns nut brown and it tastes of oven roasted figs drenched in honey. Heaven.